Hey guys, Jimmy here. We are in week number eight of sending out cards to the mail. Today we got our MLB day. Um, we got six great guys that we're writing to, very interesting guys. Um, very excited to write to all six of them. So let's take a look at who we got. So first up, we got Ken Phelps. Um, Phelps won the World Series in 89 with the Athletics. Um, in his career, he was the uh, he was the player, the second fastest player to get to 100 home runs in terms of at bats. Um, the first fastest being uh, Ryan Howard. Um, and kind of a fun fact about Ken, um, his final home run, he uh, came into the game pinch hitting in the uh, ninth inning with two outs. And the opposing pitcher, Brian Holman, um, actually retired the first 26 batters in a row. So the final home run is, of his career was to break up a perfect game. So pretty interesting there. Can ask him about that. Excited to write to him. Next up, we got Gary Pettis. Um, he is currently a coach for the uh, Houston Astros. Um, so he, he has those two rings from the Astros from 2017 and 2022. Uh, during his 10-year career, he had five gold gloves. So he's a very solid defensive player. Um, so gonna going to ask him about all that. Excited to write to him. Next up, we got Dan Petrie. Um, Petrie was a solid pitcher for the Tigers um, throughout the 80s. Uh, he was an all-star in 1985 and was part of that World Series championship team in 1984. So excited to write to him and uh, see what he has to say about those, those years. Next up, we got Steve Peters. Uh, Peters played two years in the big leagues for the Cardinals. So even though it was brief, you know, he got to he got to live the dream that we all dream of uh, to play in the MLB. Um, he went three and three, three wins and three losses in his career with uh, 41 strikeouts. So I'm sure he remembers every single one. So I'm going to ask him about that and then going to be interested to see what he has to say. Next up, we got Gino Petrali. Petrali spent 11 years in the MLB as a catcher. Um, started off his career with the Blue Jays, wasn't a full-time starter and, uh, wasn't used too, too much. Um, for the Rangers, uh, he played a little bit more in, uh, 1987. Uh, he actually became the first Ranger catcher to hit over a hundred home runs. So kind of neat there. And fun fact, his first ever home run in his career was off Phil Necro. So, um, kind of cool to get your first home run off a future Hall of Fame pitcher. Um, that same year in 1987, he was tasked with catching Charlie Hugh. Uh, for those who don't know Charlie Hugh, he was a knuckleballer. So very, very hard to catch. Um, and uh, that year he made it into the record books a couple times. Um, he had four pass balls in one inning and uh, six pass balls in one game. So very, very funny, kind of cool to, to make the record books in that way. And, uh, very a very hard job to catch a knuckleballer um so gonna be interesting to ask him about that and see what he has to say and then last but not least we got jeff pico uh pico spent three years with the club cubs and uh on his major league debut he actually threw a shutout so very neat there gonna ask him about that very cool way to come into the mlb and just kind of dominate in your first game so gonna be exciting to ask him and see what he has to say about that day so yeah, these are the six guys that are going out this week, looking to have a good week. Um, yeah, so thanks.